Hello everybody. Well, it's a day later than normal because uh, yesterday was, I believe, Martin Luther King Day it was in America. Um, and to be honest, I was doing something else. Uh, mainly looking for, 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 for second-hand Teslas that have dropped in price mm. alongside <laughs> real Teslas yeah. by almost 20% overnight. Here's the funny thing that um, if you go to, there's a Tesla, it's a true story, there's a Tesla garage or shop in the shopping centre up the road and they closed for two days because they got fed up with people who I bought bet. Teslas coming back saying, why have you just destroyed the value of my car by 20%? And and it's worse than that, isn't it? Because most people here buy cars on some sort of lease, yeah, yeah. which normally has a three or four year term. Yep. So they feel that pain every month when they see that. They feel that pain through. every month, and then when they get to the end of it, if they didn't tick the box that says gap insurance mm. to cover the gap between Ooh, what yeah. they owe, they're going to get to the end of that car and they'll say, "Oh well, I've made my last payment," and there's someone's going to say. Apart from the twelve grand you owe yes. us for yeah, not yeah, yeah. ticking that box, yeah. So um, I suspect there's going to be a lot more Teslas catching fire. It, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? I mean, we talked just last week, didn't we, about the price drop in China that we'd seen forty percent. Some of the yeah, yeah. models there were forty percent cheaper than in the US, and then we see it twenty percent up to twenty percent off across Europe and the US. But you know, we had this discussion me and you offline, didn't we? I mean, Tesla for whatever you believe about uh, the product, has been positioned, I would say, as a luxury aspirational type brand. And one thing you yeah. don't do with a luxury brand is take 20% of a list price. No, no, it's bonkers. Because it just sends all the wrong signals for Absolutely everybody. Absolutely bonkers. I mean, I've, I've been looking for mounting gear. And of course, you, you see the sales, 60% off. Yeah. Not if you want a coat that's going to keep you warm. No. If you want a coat that's going to keep you warm from a premium brand, yeah. you might get 1% off. But you'd be pretty unlucky and you'd have to be either extra, 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 extra large yes. or extra, 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 extra small. Yeah, so yeah, unless you're a so. midget or a giant, you're not getting anything off of a premium brand coat. No, you're not. And if you're doing something outside and it's going to be minus 20, you probably want to uh, be warm, Yeah, I would suggest. So what else? Well, speaking of cold places, Davos is on. Davos is the annual... I mean, the man who was the... Uh, the guy who invented the uh, Daleks? No, that was Dav Ross. Oh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's a completely different story altogether, which uh, not that many people will get. So apologies for the... Uh, <laughs> well, they, they might get it in America, but... Late, you, say, you, if late 70s, seen, early 80s, Doctor, Doctor Who yeah. reference. Dav Ross, uh, yeah. So Davos is the global collection of... Uh, I've been. Politicians, I'm I went sure to Dav you have. I went to yeah. Davos with CNN. Bankers and yeah. people with a lot of money. So you have this uh, very nice place, obviously in the Alps, which is very cold uh, at the moment. And then you have literally, well, last year, 2022, they had a thousand private jets fly in. Nice. A thousand. Um, and out one would assume because the yeah. airport can't be that big. Yeah, <laughs> it's a thousand. How do you points. deal with a thousand private jets? That I guess they come in, in down, yeah, out, in, down, later, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I guess a lot of them are these sort of um, part leased ones or shared ones, or whatever. But uh, yeah, where all the, the great and the good go to talk about the wealth gap yeah. and uh, to climate, tell us. and climate change. <laughs> yeah. Ironically, yeah. we're flying here to tell you lot <laughs> yes. about climate change and how bad. How badly it is that people out there had to fly uh, scheduled. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that started. Uh, bank earnings uh, started mm. last week. Uh, two other big ones probably out about now, actually, which is uh, Goldman and Morgan Stanley, I think. But bank earnings have been uh, ish okay, but it's more the forecast where people have been going, yeah, we're not so sure. We're not so sure about this year. Yeah. Goldman's have been killing jobs, haven't they? Yeah. About 5,000 gone now. Yes. A lot um, in the retail side, though, which is somewhere that I never understood why they wanted to play, even though I've got a markers account. <clears throat> yeah. Very odd. Yeah. So, um, you know, we talk a lot here about, obviously, numbers. So just, you know, listening to Bloomberg, you know, is it recession, not recession for 2023? People are still undecided. But it looks like, you know, people are still very nervous about earnings, obviously. Now, I heard of brilliant uh no saw a brilliant quote which uh basically said have we all been fished in by this sort of new economy 
because Airbnb costs more than hotels, mm. Uber costs more than taxis, yeah, and streaming costs more than cable. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely <laughs> it's true. true. It's completely true. I, funny enough, I've been looking on Airbnb because yeah. you know I've got this adventure thing going through my mind. Just so yeah. you know, I've got this adventure thing. I'm gonna live wild for a bit. So I thought I'll have a look. Yeah, how much can it cost to hire a a small crofter's cottage in the middle of Scotland with no right. heating? But I, oh yeah, three hundred pound a night. How much can I go on Hotels dot com and get a late <laughs> night booking? Pounds. Right, a late night booking for for the Grosvenor. It was 290. I'm thinking, hold on. Scottish Crofters Cottage, bloody freezing in the middle of nowhere. Welcome to the Grove, though. Yeah. Ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's completely, and you're quite right with Uber, mm. it's cheaper to get a black cab in London. No, it is now. For yeah. two reasons. Number one, the mileage charge on Uber's gone up. Yeah. But secondly, black cabs actually know where they're going. Yeah. Yeah, so you yeah, don't yeah. get in one and, <laughs> and end up somewhere completely different. And they say, oh, no worries. I'll, I put the wrong thing in. I'll put the right thing yeah, in we'll ways now. We'll go back. But don't worry. I'll, I'll charge you for the cock yeah. up that I've made. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, interesting, mm. interesting times. China's population, we knew this was coming, has oh. actually now stopped growing. Oh, no, of... China's population, <clears throat> they're going to depopulate hugely. Mm. Do, you know, do you know what the inflection point is for China that tells you how worrying their economy is? Uh, I don't know, but this is the lowest growth rate since 1961 or something. Yeah, the thing that's uh, the thing that is the uh, stat to watch, and um, it's happened in China in the last month. Happened in December, for the first time, sales of adult diapers exceeded oh, those of children's diapers. Another discussion I want to have. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Mm. You think about that in China. Well, that, that's the tells case. Tells you exactly what's happening in yeah. Japan. It's the case in America. It was the case nine months ago. Mm, wow. So you start to look at it and you think, yeah, you know, the Earth has got a population problem. But of course, Elon Musk, maybe this is why he's cutting the price of Teslas, he says the Earth has a depopulation problem, not a population problem. Same in Italy, of course, where yes. people have been having one child for ages. Whole villages, if you look at this on the internet if you get a chance, whole villages are for sale out there for like one euro. Yeah, because I they can't get I've people read, to live in I've them. read that, that the actual Earth does have a depopulation problem. If you roll forward like 200 years, yeah, it, it, it is conceivable that humans die off at some point, not within 200 years, but in the next. Like we care. I couldn't care less. Like we care. I literally couldn't <laughs> care less. There are lots of humans I wish would depopulate now. Um, 80,000 of them go to Old Trafford every second week, but that's another <clears> story. But, but, you know... All this macro stuff, none of it works. You've got to deal with today. Yeah, you've got to deal with today. On a serious note, with regard to Tesla and electric cars in particular, go on YouTube, watch the video about the new Toyota hydrogen-powered engine. Mm. Because Toyota, everybody thinks, oh, they've missed the boat. They've They've missed missed the boat. But they haven't. they've, They've got hybrid hydrogen engine that they've just released. Mind blowing. Japanese engineering is mind blowing. I always go back to the Japanese Zero. The Zero, fighter. yeah, nice fighter, Mitsubishi Zero. Mitsubishi Zero, beautifully light plane, which of course was its downside. Yeah, but that's why it was so manoeuvrable. But so, but beautiful, mm. quite good looking aircraft. Well, radial yes. engine, of course. I always loved. So now we are digressing slightly here. I always loved a Japanese battleship as well, Yamato. Yeah, because they were like it was like could have curvy it, up at the front a little bit. Wasn't yeah, it? but it was like a kid had made it. it's like how much stuff can yeah. we put on here 70,000 guns everywhere tons. yeah some something anyway so we, <laughs> we'll get we'll get back to where we are so um uh yeah. we talk a lot about trading um we like good traders we uh support you know trading in the right way atlas trading not so much uh <laughs> saw them yeah. Not quite as Not much. Not so much. Biggest pump and dump scheme in yeah. uh, history, apparently. Can I ask a question? A quick aside about this before we get into the details. You've got Atlas. You've obviously, you've got Sam Bankman fraud. Yes. You've got another two influencers that I saw arrested this yes. morning for pump and dump. It <clears> looks mm-hmm. like there's more kind of... I think we should be investing in white collar prisons in America. Yeah. Because no, they're, they're going to be full for 50 years. Yeah. They're going to be. That's why they're offering these deals. You've got Elizabeth Holmes. She's going to be going to. So, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. You've you've got Jelaine Maxwell is already there. Oh, they're going to be it. absolutely full. Yeah. It'll be like 
what you want is a Google type prison with a slide and with bean bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be, be awesome. right at home, wouldn't they? Yeah, it'd be absolutely. I think it's going to be. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people. I mean, the Atlas trading thing. Uh, people are dumb. So, to your point, I looked it up after we spoke. When you see the messages that yes. they were putting in WhatsApp, yeah, and, and just because it them. says at the top of WhatsApp, incidentally, your messages are encrypted. <laughs> Here's the clue: <laughs> not only can WhatsApp decrypt them, anybody of the authorities from any yes. country that says give me their WhatsApp messages, guess what? Every WhatsApp message you've yeah. ever sent is stored by Facebook or Meta, as they're now called forever so if you're going to commit something like this mm. don't put in there all of these people are morons how are we going to no. get the dough from them no it's not like if you go and say to um facebook we need the uh whatsapp text it's not like they give them to you encrypted in ascii format is it no 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 they actually <laughs> it's like there you go <laughs> they give you the text in the native language yeah and the, the interesting thing about it is apparently <clears throat> when they give them to the um authorities i don't know why i went down this particular wormhole when they give them to the authorities, they give them to the authorities in browser format, but the browser will replicate a mobile phone screen oh, so yeah. that when they present it as evidence in court, it's, like, a, a, it's yeah, yeah. like it's on the phone. But they've done that to make it easier for the FBI to oh, get Brilliant. <laughs> That's so nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we'll yeah, make it yeah, easy yeah. for you. Don't you worry about making it look like I'll that. Love, we'll do I'll it for love, you. I love a phone emulator on a full screen. Yeah, it's something, amazing. something pleasing about it. Uh, alternative meat products. Now, we poo-pooed these meat. some time ago. Yeah, because they taste horrible. Because they don't taste good. Oh, and guess what? Sales have all stalled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Beyond Meats lost 90% of its <clears> value. <throat> Turns out it's official. People don't want fake meat. No, no. Which I think we knew, well, we did know for sure. Um, people don't want fake wine either. No. And I've noticed a trend in fake spirits, which... Really, you mean like ghosts? Blows my mind. Not like, those kind ooh, of spirits, no. Not like, like that. Not like rent a ghost. Back to your oh, rent a ghost. Child. Oh, hold on a sec. Give me two seconds. <laughs> oh, but fake, not fake. You know, alcohol-free gin. Oh. Alcohol-free. What shops. is the point? Well, I mean, really, what is the point? It's I mean, said that I do ridiculous. occasionally drink alcohol-free beer. They'll be launching death-free weapons soon. Who wants yeah. one of them? Who wants a gun that can't actually stun kill gun. somebody? Like a stun gun from Star Trek. Mm, you can still kill somebody if you really try yeah. with a stun gun. But who want, no, all this fake stuff. And and the thing is that, the, again, the article I read about alternative meat said that the primary ingredient ingredient in most of them was pea protein. Pea protein. Um, and pea protein, if you eat a lot of it, it's not very good for you. In fact, it's appalling for your digestive tract. Mm. So... Where they used to say the average American has two pounds of undigested meat in there. Yeah. Well, guess what? Your human body can actually digest that. Yeah. But when they discover that the average person has got two pounds of undigested pea protein, yeah. the body can't break it down. No, it's like probably having sort of like hemp or grass. It's, yeah, stomach, it's the same with it? it's like vaping, right? Yeah. Oh, vaping, it's completely safe. Yeah. No, it isn't. No. It's alternative smoking. And we all know it takes 20 years for the full effects to come out. Yeah. I can't even see the point of it. I, I mean, I've never had a spirit in my life, but I can't see the point. If I wanted to know what whiskey tastes like, I'll taste whiskey. Yeah. I don't want to taste something that tastes like whiskey but hasn't got any alcoholic content. It makes no sense to me. What's no. going to happen to them then? Just go broke completely, do you think? Well, or? it's all the big brands. That's the thing. It's all yeah. the big brands. It's the... Um, now I've got to think of a big didn't brand. Didn't McDonald's get sucked in and have... Haven't they got burgers? They had a Beyond Meat burger. Beyond well, I don't meat. know if they still have, but they certainly introduced one in many And vegan parts cheese, the, that's something else they've got. Oh, that is just horrendous. Have you ever had that? I, mean, What's, I don't like... No, not I don't like vegans. I wouldn't say that. It's but, not. Well, <laughs> I don't know what again, it is. Vegetarian go, cheese is bad enough. If, if you're going to be a vegan, be a vegan. Don't be a vegan and then yeah. hanker for all the, <clears> everything that you had when you weren't a vegan and were normal. That's what I say. Yeah, I'm not sure you can use that normal in that context. But, you know, we know what you meant. Normal within the... <laughs> within, within the mark context. Within the mark context yes. and within the bell curve of that. Normal people. I, I mean, I, I admire people that can stick to veganism. I, I, I think it's actually... I think it must be actually quite difficult. The vegans I know say, no, no, it's quite easy. But they're what I would call vegans before vegan became a craze. They're like... The early Tesla evangelists. Yeah, so that they actually yes. genuinely that they know how to make 
48 different recipes out of legumes and whatever. But they're not they're not looking to go into <laughs> legumes as in the French for vegetables. Yeah. Is that right? Okay, good. But it's a you know, it's a legumes you see I don't, you know that's Arico a legume. Vert that's, and that that's, kind that's of thing. Uh, yeah, sorry. Me. Uh it's a it's a bit of education there, you see. If you say legume, it's a, be a little bit more upmarket than say vegetables. Let's move back to the market. You never go to a good restaurant and they serve you vegetables, they give you legume. <laughs> Sorry about that. Try just try to educate you and move this show up market. Let's face it, it needs it. Back to the market. Back to the market. So we talk about a lot about private equity and is there something beneath the surface? We've seen the uh the crypto meltdown and we've all thinking, hold on to something. Back. Just come back. Twenty two thousand dollars this morning. Bitcoin's back. Bitcoin's back. Yeah, Bitcoin is back. Yeah. And no one can quite understand why, but um stop selling. That's it. Everybody's well, yeah, demand has gone up. That can be the only thing that drives hands. the price. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I don't know. But crypto.com uh, dot com, the next uh one is shedding another sort of thousand jobs. Oh, yeah, so yeah. all all of the brokers are offloading people still, but obviously somewhere there's a demand or as you say probably just a you know drop in the number of people selling but we talked about private equity a lot and um private equity is all a bit murky that's why it's private it doesn't have quite the same mm. rules and regulations as everybody else um and in this time where everyone's looking at earnings obviously earnings in private companies are very hard to see mm. but because a lot of public mutual funds invest in private equity oh, funds and it. businesses it's hard to understand so yeah. your private equity business will come back and say well we think our businesses are worth this much but it's not like a stock exchange when you can see what's happening mm. every day they may do it three or four times a year so it's all a bit sort of vague the other thing now that the regulators are cracking down on are collateralized fund obligations now what do they sound like mark oh they're precisely a cfo it sounds it. like it's precisely, it's it, here again. It is one of those. It's, well, it's, it's a collateralised debt obligation. It's a collateralised debt obligation. It's yes, what they it started is. doing minutes after everybody went, hang on a second, CDOs <laughs> are dead, we're in deep trouble here, we can't make any money. What shall we do? I've got an idea. Yeah. You put those same junk into funds and, yeah. oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. You can Guaranteed. see it now, everyone's sitting around a room. Financial engineer. They're at Davos is where they're doing it. That's probably where they're doing they're it. They're in the side room <laughs> saying... How can we keep all these yeah. Muppets happy? Yeah. Tell them we've banned CDOs, all right. Yeah, yeah, nice. But they think that there are probably quite a lot of those around <laughs> with uh, much lower grade um, debt in than has been uh, attributed to it. This is, of course, what Michael Burry's been saying for the past six yeah. months. Well, and it is a complete uh, repeat and replica of 2008, right? Completely oh, the same. Yeah, absolutely. I've got all these things. I'll put some higher quality stuff in with low quality and I'll sell the whole thing as high quality. The Big Short 2. Big Short who, 2. Whoever thought there would be a sequel to The Big Short? And one of the things... That <laughs> That's quite, you know, I mean, I get Jaws, Jaws yeah, yeah. 2. I get Rocky, Rocky 2. Three. But The Big Short... I don't know. We just seem to be on a roller coaster now. The Big things. Short 2. I watched, I've been watching the, uh, the Netflix thing you talked about on... Um, <sighs> Madoff and uh, Bernie. Uh, yeah, I mean, Bernie Madoff. Just get so much more information than you had just by yeah. reading reports at the time. Yeah. The, the quant working in Boston, who basically was responsible for unearthing a lot of it and kept going to the SEC yeah. and then started to figure out a lot of that money that was tied up was probably mm, somewhat dubious money as well yeah. as good money, started carrying a gun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because he uh, knew it was going to end one yeah, way. So it's dubious money. He could be on a hit list. And I, and I, I, the, my favourite bit is Bernie Madoff, biggest Ponzi scheme ever, is there's, and you might not have got this far, but I'm sure it's not ruining it for you anyway. He gets interviewed by the FBI and they show live footage. And the guy from the FBI says, we've, we've been doing our totals here. We, we come to about 65 billion that's mm. missing. Where, where is it? And Bernie Madoff, he just looks straight at the camera and says, no, no, it never existed never in the first no, place. I, I invented it. And the FBI says, no, we want to know where the money's gone. <laughs> and he says... No, I'm just telling you, it never existed. I invented it. <laughs> I mean, you can sort of see this interplay. You, Of course, you only see about You can always see this FBI going, hold on. This guy literally invented 69 or $65 billion worth of company profits. It never existed over a 20-year period. What I was quite interested in Clever was guy. 
Yeah, also clever guys. The guys who wrote the Algo, which had to reverse engineer... Oh, yeah, that was smart. ...how much money you had to show on people's statements. Yeah. And backtrack. Yeah, that was... And therefore choose the shares. And then choose the shares. Yeah. And then make up the holdings in those shares. <laughs> Those guys were smart. If they yeah. could have put their... But, you know, we know that about a lot of criminals, right? If they, yeah, if yeah, they put yeah. their mind to the right the right use instead of yeah. the wrong use... Um, they wouldn't make half as much money, but they, make they would be money. free. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't make as much money, but you'll be free, and you wouldn't have to... I don't know. I imagine if you get into one of those things, you're constantly <clears> thinking, oh, my God, am I going to get a knock at 4 o'clock in the morning? Mm. It's either A, the FBI, or B, somebody carrying a... Glock mm. wearing uh, tight leather gloves and a mask who just pops one straight through the middle of my forehead. Mm, don't answer the door at 4 a.m. That's my uh, advice on that one. They come back though. Yeah, just don't. Did that just the door. say, like, hello, I'm here. Oh, are you? Oh, Get I'm a, a, a ring doorbell. Other I'm a interactive hired, doorbells are hired available. Assassin. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> no, you're not in. Okay. What time can I come back? You know, I don't think it happens like that. And on that. Safe note. and secure <clears throat> note. Mm. That way of preserving your integrity. Remember, you heard it here first. Yep. Peter, a well, an outrageous critic, quite frankly, of Vlad and numerous other regimes, is now telling you officially how to avoid the hitman when he comes back and endorsing Ring at the same time. Are you paid no, I did say. Did it, I actually said. I just didn't do the parentheses. I'll do those now. Other interactive doorbells are available. Oh, that's very good. So you're not being sponsored by Ring on this one. Because no. you've worked all episode to get Ring into it. And we finally right. had to bring it you've down You've got a Ring to... doorbell that seems to stop working. No. So, sorry, Mr. My, Bezos. My, my, <laughs> he's upset Bezos now. <laughs> this is unbelievable. And on that note of once again Peter destroying <laughs> Illuminary, he's gone after Musk. He's Now he's ended the show going after my friend Jeff. <laughs> it's an outrage but for me cheers bye bye thank you we'll see you next week ta -da.